Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to do something that I haven't done before and that is go over a rune word that doesn't technically exist yet. Um, in fact, the rune word doesn't even technically exist at all, which is uh, part of the interesting thing about this. Um, it was, however, announced in the um, Diablo 2 developer sort of conference with uh, Mr. Lama, Pez Radar, uh, Rod, I think it was Rod Ferguson or... Uh, I don't remember exactly all their names, but um, they announced that two rune words would be uh, making a sort of a comeback, so to speak, um, that never really quite made it into the game. Um, and this particular video is going to be about the rune word pattern. So what they said in the uh, video was that the two rune words would be introduced in the first ladder. They would be the first ladder only rune words. And... Um, we don't really have a lot of information on the rune words themselves. Um, they did not say that they were going to be exactly as they were in the game files. And if you're wondering how I have this image, it is because the rune words actually do exist within the game files of Diablo 2. So the, so the first two rune words that they have decided to add were two rune words that basically never quite made it into the game. And this is... Um, essentially what we're dealing with right now. So we're dealing with a rune word that never made it into the game that is now going to make it into the game. Um, and they, they said that they would probably not make it in exactly as they are right now, uh, which means that uh, there's going to be some tweaks and changes to the rune word uh, you know, as we go along. But let's take a look at it uh, right now. And, uh, and let's see if we can figure out uh, what kind of usefulness this rune word would have. Because um, it's interesting and it's fun to theory craft and, uh, and speculate, is it not? The first thing we can do here is just simply look at the construction of the rune. So a three socket claw, uh, the rune word is known as pattern, and, uh, and we have the runes tal, ort, tier. Um, so if we go to Diablo 2 rune words, or Diablo 2 runes, uh, we can effectively figure out what the uh, level of this rune word would be, because remember, as with all runes, the level of the rune word is equal to the highest level rune in the rune word recipe. So the highest level rune in this rune word recipe um, is the Ort rune, uh, which is level 21, which makes this a level 21 rune word. So relatively low level, um, and it seems to be balanced around that lower level. Uh, we have a 10% bonus to attack rating, which is always nice to have, although I do rather prefer my weapons to have a flat bonus, uh, because usually I have so much percentage bonus to attack rating that um, I really need the flat numbers, uh, because you know once I'm at like a 1,000% bonus to attack rating, an extra 10% really isn't a lot, but an extra 10 attack rating is actually a ton, uh, because a 1,000% bonus to attack rating is going to you know really balloon out a flat number. We have 40 to 80% enhanced, which is a rather large variable there. Uh, for a level 21 item, I'm not really sure why they have such a large variable on the enhanced defense, or the, the enhanced damage. And, um, you know what, let's uh, do some speculation here. So let's take a look at Diablo 2 Claws. And uh, let's assume we're going to make this in a faster claw. So uh, let's look at all the Assassin-specific guitars. And um, so we've got the Wrist Blade, the Hatchet Hands, the Cestus, the Claws, the Blade Talons, and the Scissors Guitar. Now this is level 21, so maybe you would make it in a Nightmare Difficulty item. Uh, let's assume... A nightmare difficulty item. Uh, so we've got uh, a wrist spike. Let's take a wrist spike and let's run the calculations for the wrist spike. So uh, assuming we get the perfect version of this, which is 80% uh, enhanced damage, we've got um, 13 to 27 with an average damage of 20. So 20 plus 80%. Yeah, Now we're looking at around like an average damage of 36, which isn't amazing, but it is going to be a fast weapon. It doesn't have any increased attack speed on it, though. Uh, we also have a uh, f added fire damage of 17 to 62, which is relatively high. Um, 17 to 62 is actually a lot of fire damage for level 21. And uh, I know some of that is... Um, 
I don't know, it's interesting. Uh, we also have 15% all resistances, which is definitely nice to have on a claw. And it makes me think that this claw in particular could be used as an offhand claw uh, with the purpose of uh, giving you more resistances and stats, basically a stat stick. Um, and it also has plus six strength and plus six dexterity, so it kind of fits the stat stick buff mechanic. Um, on top of that, it also has a 30% bonus chance to block. Now this one is odd to me, and I've never actually seen block chance on a claw before. Um, I'm assuming that block chance on a claw would specifically be revolving around a shield, right? But there's no guarantee of that. Um, there's no actual guarantee that it would be 30% block chance to a shield. It could also be 30% block chance to claw block. Um, since we've never actually had block chance on a claw, we don't know if that would add to that at all. Um, I'm going to assume that it's block chance on a shield and not block chance on a claw on the claws, the uh, dual dual claw block. Um, but even if it is a block chance on a um, a shield, this could make it a very very uh, interesting choice for a lower level trap assassin. You know, think me, hear me out here. So we've got. Um, 15% all resistances, we've got 6 strength and 6 tanks, as well as 30% increased chance of block. And then on top of that, we've got plus 2 to mana after each kill, which would make it an absolutely excellent uh, item for a caster type, um, especially um, a trap assassin. And um, I feel like, it's almost honestly, it seems like that's what this is kind of pointed towards. Um, it's almost like a companion item to a decent shield. If I was at level 21 and I was a trap assassin, I could totally put this on my uh, my claw slot and then throw on like an Ancient's Pledge or something. And, um, and that would be rocking pretty nice resistances um, in normal difficulty. And uh, when I get to nightmare difficulty, I would still be pretty good. Um, the increased chance of block would definitely help me, um, you know, stay alive a little better. And the uh, plus six strength, of course, is going to help me put on equipment. And then, of course, the uh, the dexterity is going to increase my block chance even more. So uh, it, it's it's really nice. And the plus two to mana after each kill, of course, is going to help with my uh, my mana cost issues because as a trap assassin, you don't normally hit things. So it's nice to have a bonus of mana to each, uh, you know, plus mana after each kill. Um, then we also have 1 to 50 lightning damage, which is not bad. So, you know, right off the top of the, of the, of the head here, I'm seeing a really nice amount of elemental damage. I'm seeing nice resistances. I'm seeing pretty nice bonuses to stats at level 21. I'm seeing the chance to block increase, which is actually pretty amazing. 30% chance to block increase is pretty awesome. Uh, now, granted, it does lack the faster blocking uh, recovery, um, which most shields have. So, uh, you know, if you were to go with a, a kind of like a max block um, claw assassin, um, you know, it's... It would definitely be nice to have faster block as well as the chip plus chance to block. Having plus chance to block by itself is not necessarily a good thing. Like if you're a 75% chance to block, but your faster blocking is uh, is absolutely ridiculously tiny, um, it does uh, tend to cause some issues. And because um, you know you're going to block, and then you're just going to be stuck in that block animation for a while. Um, it might be a pretty interesting item for a low-level dueling assassin. Um, at level 30, I could totally see this being a very interesting choice uh, because not only is it going to give you quite a bit of defense with the, uh, the resistances, the dexterity, um, and the chance to block, it's also going to give you quite a bit of offensive capability with the, uh, the elemental damage um, and uh, you know, the plus to strength, the, um, the bonus to attack rating, uh, etc. I mean, it's, it's a very interesting claw. Um, I don't know specifically if it's going to stay with these stats. Like they said, they may change the stats uh, from what they were originally in the game. And um, it's still fun to uh, to speculate on these things. Um, is this Would this be viable in a higher level claw? Uh, I don't particularly think so. Uh, maybe for a trap assassin, but usually by the time you get to a higher level, you're looking at plus the skills claws. Uh, which are going to be far more effective than this as a uh, kind of like a stat stick, uh, which is which is really what it becomes later on in the game because the damage is not going to be high enough. The elemental damage is not really going to help you out very much, you know, in in like uh, hell difficulty. Um, you know, it's it's basically going to be a 
a buff stick. And um, and at that point in Hell Difficulty, you're looking at the 15% all resistances, the, the plus 6 strength and plus 6 dex, the 30% chance to block, the plus 2 to mana after each kill. Um, so it's not exactly useless to a character as a buff stick, um, but if you have, uh, you know, if you actually want to attack with your weapon for any reason, um, you know, this this definitely is uh, is not going to do a large amount of damage in Hell Difficulty. Um, maybe for a character that doesn't use their weapon damage. Um, like, for instance, a kicks in. Maybe they want to uh, cap out their block at really low uh, dexterity levels. And, um, I don't know. Could be a, a swap to or something. Uh, but usually kicks ins tend to use things like uh, Crushing Blow, uh, which is uh, which is very, very useful for them. Like Maybe like a Fanged Ripper... Um, a flesh ripper fanged knife and uh, and so forth and so on. Uh, so this doesn't doesn't really seem like it might be a viable uh, high level item. Um, what could they possibly change on this? Uh, I feel like if they really wanted to make this a rune word viable, maybe at a higher level, um, like say for instance they wanted to switch this around a little bit and uh, they wanted to actually make this into a high level rune word. What could they do? Well, if they wanted to make it into a high-level rune word, first off, they're going to have to change the uh, the rune order. So we're going to be looking at something uh, much more expensive than Talor to Tier. Um, next, they're probably going to have to change that bonus to attack rating, either beef up the percentage or um, or change it to a flat amount. The enhanced damage is definitely going to have to be increased. Uh, for a higher-level item, 40 to 80 percent is just not enough. Um, it's going to have to be something like 200 to 300, maybe even. 300 to 400 uh, percent for it to be viable as an end game item. Um, the all resistances would have to be bumped up as well. Uh, while 15 percent all resistances is actually kind of nice in normal difficulty, it's very lackluster in hell. Um, I would expect it to go up to something like 30, maybe 45 all resistances. Uh, probably not any higher than that. Uh, the strength and dex could definitely be increased a little bit. Um, I feel like they could go up at least 10 points without too much of an issue to 16. Um, and I've seen items with uh, as high as 2020. Uh, so I would definitely think that uh, 2020 would be a viable option there. Uh, the 30% chance to block would probably remain the same. Um, although if they really wanted to make this into a nice high level item, they might add faster blocking as well. Uh, plus two to mana after each kill could be bumped up a tiny bit, maybe from two to four or two to five. Um, something like uh, Silkweave Boots have plus five to mana after each kill, which is very nice. And the two elemental damage uh, effects, um, if they really wanted to make this into an interesting high-level item, I feel like they should bump those up probably by at least 200 um, on both of them. So probably one to 250 on, and uh, 17 to 262, although um, they could balance it out differently. And I'm not trying to make this into the most OP item ever in the world. I'm just trying to say that if they were to beef this item up and turn it into a higher-level rune word, um, those are the things that they would have to change. And, um, and more speculation. Um, what would this high-level rune word be used for? Well, if they bumped up the resistances enough, if the damage was uh, bumped up enough, if the uh, block chance remained the same and the mana after each kill was nice, I could totally see this being used as an offhand buff stick in Hell Difficulty. Um, if it had the right resistances, the right stats, the right block chance, um, the right mana after each kill... It would, uh, it would definitely be a viable swap option for a trap assassin, and, uh, and it could probably be a pretty good option for a kicksin as well. Um, granted, kicksins usually tend to prefer, like I said earlier, crushing blow, but if it was a good enough swap buff stick, um, it might be something that they would consider. Not really sure if there's much more I could say about this. I feel like I've covered just about everything I can. Um, keep a, an eye out for the next one. We're going to be going over the uh, the other rune word that they talked about in the uh, the dev conference and, uh, and speculate on that one as well. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, keep watching.